Hi, I'm Jeremy Barash with your Hyperion Administration Training Team, and today we're going to talk about establishing a private connection for the SmartView application for Hyperion. And what a private connection allows is when you use an HS get value formula, it names the connection in your formula so that you can communicate with the server. To do that, go to Smart View in your Excel ribbon, Panel. Typically your panel will open like this. We're going to go to Shared Connections. It will ask for your password. From the drop down, I'm going to pick SBase. This is our SBase server. We're going to expand the server. These are all of our SBase cubes. Today we're going to add CGE base, which is our primary reporting cube. We expand CGE base, click on it. Down here at the bottom, add to private connections. This is where we actually name our connection. It's important that you standardize this across a company and the way that we've standardized it is you go to the very last part and we're going to Take off everything except for the CGE base. You don't need a description. Uh, so your CGE base connection for everyone in the company should read CG underscore E base. Click OK. And now CGE base has been added to our private connections, which automatically came up. We can start an ad hoc analysis from here. Make sure we're connected to the queue. I like to delete the data point and refresh it. So we are getting data. We are connected to the queue. It appears that our private connection for CGE base is working. And we can now use that in an HS get value formula. This concludes setting up a personal connection. If you have any questions, please reach out to your Hyperion administration team and you can email us at the Hyperion inbox and we'll get right back to you. Thank you very much.